The week has been treating you well? Yep. Yeah? So far, good. so good. In this house, Ghana, you're okay? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Let's go to know. Has anyone told you you kind of, almost, kind of, almost... Look like Kiddy. Say, say it louder. <laughs> like Kiddy. Yeah. Yeah, I get it sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Are you, were, you, were you like a fan before you, you know, you hit the mainstream? Yeah, I'm still a fan. I'm yeah? still a fan, yeah. Do you think you'll ever do something with him? I hope so, one day. Yeah? One day. Because I can only see what the video looks like. It will just be doubles, you know? Kitty and then Malcolm, Malcolm. Nuna on the side. It's kind of like, wait, yeah. who is who? Who is who? Oh, right, it's the hair that will tell us the difference. But anyway, it's good to have I you. I should play a documentary for him, or like younger Kitty. But that would be yeah, nice. You should, you should come. Please, hey. Kitty. That's right. Where you put it together, just come to us. Yeah. And we got you down. Yeah, yeah. But the song that we're playing right now, that's Benzo. Yeah, it is. Is that your latest song? Yeah, that's my latest song. Benzo, when did you release it? Um, A month ago. Oh, wow. A month ago, yeah. And you're in school. Yeah, I'm in So school. how did you manage, you know, putting together such a, such a dope track and still being in school at the same time, business administration? So you want me to tell you how Benzo was made? Yeah, I really want to know. <laughs> okay. So I was on vacation. So we were in Kumase, like when we were on vacation, we just, yeah. I headed to his place in Kumase to free our mind for a bit. Mm. So <clears throat> I was in his house. He has a studio in his house. Mm -hmm. He has a house and everything. Do you remember? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, we had like Dude, had a whole day. We yeah. went back to his studio. We weren't really recording. Our producer Swati was playing the beat and stuff, mm -hmm. and they all talking and were vibing. And girl texted me. Yeah. And we we're introducing ourselves. <laughs> she asked me, "Do I drive?" I said, "I don't oh, drive." Gee. And she's like, "Oh, if I don't drive, and they all call." Oh wow! And I showed it to y'all, and that's how the oh for real. The yeah. Is. And they all call like serious like that. Yeah, yeah, that's how it happened. Oh wow! And it synced. Magically, and thank God, it synced with what my producer was playing at yeah. that time. And it was a vibe in the studio. I see. What does it take for two of you to, you know, vibe so well? What does it take? Well, I feel like it's very natural. Like it's, it's natural. Very, very mm. natural. The connect is natural. Yeah. Very natural. And you're you're also a student, aren't you? No, I completed last two years, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been a while long. I forgot. Last, it's been, you forgot it. Yeah, you're last enjoying year, life I... after school. Yeah. <laughs> you're enjoying life after school. after school. What's it like for you? I mean, I've seen you around, you know, talking about traveling out and things yeah. like that. Tell me about life after school for you. Our life after school is great. Just working, chilling, mm. trying to make more money for school, for the mm. uni to pay my fees and other yeah. things. So it's kind of school for me right now. I'm very cool. Yeah? I'm working, yeah. What, what would you want to study when you go back to school? Psychology. Yeah? yeah. Tell me why. I feel like, um, I don't know, but I feel like doing it. I feel like, like to face something that I'm new to it, you feel mm. me? That's how I am. I always want to face something new. Right. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, I wonder why psychology is so new to you. Don't you think it's a part of our life? It's part. It's part, but to my side, you know school is different. School has a different psychology and everything, so mm. I just want to face the new ones there. Right. In our lives, it's just like the personal ones, oh, this, this, that, but in school, it's different. Mm. So I just want to face the school one first. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so till you get back to school, of you're course. doing your music for us, yep. right? And you're out with Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. You know, you know what I like about Sophia? It's very interesting. It's very, very different. Yeah. You know, we know you for the hardcore, the drill. Mm. Of course, you had a few other genres here and there. Yeah. But this one comes on, and I can even see you and Kim Promise doing something together. Have yeah. you ever got that? Um, we linked up. We yeah? linked up, we talked. We talked. Ken is like my big bro. Mm. Trying to... Yeah. yeah, it'll be, it'll be awesome. You don't worry. Oh, oh, oh something is coming out? I'll try and do it. Trying to link my yeah. big bro and do it, yeah. Okay, that's nice. But tell me why you went into that zone, mm. you know, from the hardcore, what we know you for, yeah. and then now you're all chill with your Sophia, you know, yeah. it's very, very calm, the music. Tell me. Um, to me, right, I mm. like, that's what I, I like facing new things. I like exploring. Yeah. I'm not that type that I'm always boxing myself. Like, I, yo, I'm a rapper, everyone knows, but what's next? Mm. I need to grow every time. And it's leading to my album, Young and Mature, so I have to do new, new things for people to like, oh, what's this? Is that y'all? Mm. Yeah, I just want people to know I'm not just rapping, I'm doing different things. Right. Yeah. Um, are there other genres that you haven't yet explored that you think you would be getting into? I think I've done a lot. I have highlight songs on my album, Afrobeat, different genres. Yeah. That will be coming soon. Rock, punk, heavy metal? I can do it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, when the vibe is there, you just do it. It flows. Yeah. I see. Is there any genre that you've always wanted to do but you think you haven't yet done? Malcolm? Um, yeah, rock. 
For real, for real? Yeah, like if I learn how to play a guitar. Yeah? I really want to smash a guitar. That would day. be nice, eh? Yeah, you know, you know. One one million dollar guitar, would you smash oh, it? Oh, no, no, I won't smash. You uh, one million dollar. No, I think mean, more money will come. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no but uh, I, I've been meaning to ask you about how you still blend um, school with, you know, your music. I'm asking this because I've met a number of people, some friends, uh, you know, siblings, so on and so forth, and they don't believe in going to school. They believe that the, the music is what they want to do. Some have actually left uni to do music, and they're still struggling underground. What is it with you, and how are you, bal how, how are you balancing it? Well, I'll say um, I take it a step at, like, at a time. Mm. A day. Every day is a new tax for me, honestly, because uni is no joke. Mm. <laughs> People who like do full uni and they have nothing doing on the side car, mm. they know they sit up, you understand? Mm. So I'll say I'm freestyling it and I'm praying to God and I'm studying. Yeah? Yeah. And that's it. That's it. That's, that's a good it. one there anyway. Uh, what, if, what, what advice would you give to those who are also, you know, trying to get into music? They want to get, they, they, they're in school, but they want to leave school. And some of them have even canceled school out completely. What advice would you have to give them? Since you're already in there anyway. Well, I'll tell them to follow their heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell. Too. Yeah, yeah, follow your mind and follow your heart. What you feel like inside, inside. Mm. If you feel like you can do the music on the side with the school, go with it. If you feel like you can't, that's up to you. Let it go. Yeah, let's go with the music, man. I'm speaking to Malcolm, Nuna, yeah. and yes, like Yao Talk. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's Pink Palace, baby. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got to throw that in there. But what have you been up to after Sophia? You said yeah. you've been working. Talk to me. Working, trying to bring my new album out, you know, mm. get my chilled. I have like three shows coming up in Kumase. Oh, nice. My own show. First October at the Rattray Park. Nice. Second at um second December at Kumase City Mall. Mm -hmm. And third for my hood boys and Tazi. So and I have my Talk Life Foundation too going on, trying to help the boys on the streets, mm. the kids in the school and everything. So it's like back to back thing. I see. How do you how do you manage that? Helping the boys in school. Mm. What 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 do you help them with? Is it uh, fees? Um, getting into school, supplies. What is it? Right now it's like we're done with the books. I've shared like six thousand, trying to reach twenty thousand. Nice. Trying to like. Sometimes I pay the fees for them. Mm. I'm trying to raise funds for my first show to help them. Nice. Right? But I'm done with the books. So I'll go to the street too for the boys out there, trying to get them working and everything. That's nice. Yeah. Why do you believe so much in that? I feel like I represent them right now, so mm. I need to like help them. Mm. That's how I feel, like helping, helping them on the street, everyone that I see like me, the young mm. ones like me, yeah. to help them. That's how I feel like doing right now. 